Hello everyone, in today's video we are once again on PC Gamer, it's going to be linked down in the description, and it is about Crusader Kings 3, which is a game I haven't actually talked about in a while, and I actually haven't played in a while, but I played a little bit when it first came out. So, let's get into this, Crusader Kings 3 players have pet their digital cats and dogs over 11 million times. Now that's, that is a great headline. <laughs> Paradox shares the fourth anniversary stats for some historical grand strategy. Okay. And there is Crusader Kings 3. Noise, noise. Paradox Interactive has shared some statistics to celebrate the fourth anniversary of Crusader Kings 3. Wow. I can't believe it's already the fourth anniversary. I thought it... Huh. Jeez. The historical grand strategy game that puts people in the shoes of ruling families across... Eurasia during the medieval era it lets you do immersive historical stuff like die of the black plague yep fight a stupid war because of your stupid cousin yep and get a nice dog or cat as a pet to pet yeah that is true people have pet them puppies and kitties apparently between cats and dogs crusader king Three's players have laid on 11 million five hundred and seventy eight thousand nine hundred and fifty seven pets that's six million one hundred seventy five thousand seven hundred and eighteen for the cats 5,000, no, 5,403,239 for the dogs. I wonder why it's almost a full million over for cats and dogs. A difference. Interesting. And this is uh, one of the tweets. Four years ago, we started a grand adventure with the new Crusader Kings 3. To celebrate, we're pulling back the curtains to share some stats, your gameplay stats. Thank you for being part of this journey. Here's another four years. Noise, noise. There are also some great stats in here. Like the most popularity popular starting started in region of the map Britannia by a lot, France, Scandinavia, Byzantine, and Spain. As you can see, Byzantine is so well. That's true. I'm surprised. Uh, Byzantium, sorry, Byzantine, Byzantium, is uh really high with nearly 10 million more starts than a runner up France. I'm surprised France isn't higher. Wait. Okay. So sorry. No, never mind. So Britannia is higher by 10 million more starts than the second place france which isn't that which isn't that surprising honestly meanwhile france at 14 million is relatively close to the fifth place place spain with 9.1 million interesting it's also the kind of wild that byzantium which won't even get unique mechanics related to its empire until later this year is in the top five regions to play i think it's because of the location and byzantium even though it doesn't have unique mechanics in game, it's unique in terms of where it is. Because if I remember where Byzantium is, isn't it? Oh gosh, I don't remember where Byzantium is now. I'm thinking of hmm, the problem is I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Byzantium, which I'm not sure if Byzantium. I'm thinking of like the Roman Empire Byzantium, which I don't think is the same thing. Uh, let me just quickly Google it. Okay, yes, this is, it is the Roman Empire. Yeah, it is the Roman Empire. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, yeah, so it was the Roman Empire, I am I was correct. Or what was the Roman Empire? To be fair, it gets a little complicated in Crusader Things 3 because it is historically accurate, but obviously things could happen in Crusader Things 3 that aren't, but you know what I mean, relatively historically accurate. Of the pre-selected starting characters, Paradox has also shown that pretty much that that petty King Merchad of Ireland is the top choice. Okay, kind of funny to see that over a decade after Merchad was the pick for player character in PC Gamers Crusader Things 2 Chronicles. Interesting. The last time Paradox shared this kind of statistics, we learned that players are about 45% more likely to do a murder than to fall in love. Nice. Uh, this has been a pretty good year for Crusader Kings three fans with a wholly anticipated expansion coming in september to let them play as landless adventures and greatly expanding the landowning family system within the byzantine empire they also got male pattern baldness and a comic book noise <clears throat> oh that's it okay i, I was like that, that's that's an interesting way to end it but yeah i that's interesting i'm i haven't played crusader kings 3 in a very long time but it's very interesting to see that um i wonder why Cats have been pet almost a million more times than dogs. I would I would have thought dogs gone pet more, honestly. I wonder if cats are just more common as pets. That's interesting to know. Um, I wonder if this is okay to play. Okay, let's watch this video. 
it's only 50 seconds long. We're going to have it muted because unfortunately I don't know if the music is going to cause problems. So we're going to watch it muted. 225 million hours plays. Damn. Wow. Britannia, 24 million. France, 14 million starts. New year. This year's amount of new players. Wow. The, it sold 1.5 million more copies. Wow. Number of times blast death. <laughs> black death <laughs> number of times black death occurred 22,000 that's hilarious number of times character died of a pandemic 1 million times that makes sense that's a legend was completed unfortunately I don't know what a legend means favorite king to start with okay only 400 though thousand barbershop was used 39300 I'm surprised this is that low most common achievements until death do us part interesting stress situation okay unfortunately i don't know what those achievements are and courts held 103 million that makes sense discord users seventy thousand. that's not a lot of discord users i mean that's a lot youtube views one wait what only one million probably on their channel okay to be fair it is a very niche game but yeah that is very interesting to see. Very interesting to see. I'm, I haven't, I, I should just play this game a little bit more, but it's such a huge learning curve. And it's one of those things where I have to really like be prepared to be like playing Crusader Kings 3. And right now I'm just not in the spot too, but I definitely will be at some point. So I will be playing it. Um, but thank you all for watching today's video. I just wanted to do a relatively different topic than the most recent ones. Uh, and it's more positive talking about a game's achievements and crazy interesting statistics than talking about all these failing games. <laughs> so if you'd like to comment down below what, if you've ever tried Crusader King 3 or if you're interested in the thing, I, I would love, I would have loved to know why or like what they think of the differences. I wonder why cats are pet more than the dogs. But well, you know, that's just an interesting statistic. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, or TikTok. It's all the same name, the Techno Jelly. Thank you. Please like, comment, all those types of things, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye, everyone.